well, we live in a world that's interested in meditation, which can be many things. I mean, St. Benedict, I don't think, uses the word meditation in the rule, but I think uh, meditation comes in in our pondering the Word of God and listening to the Word of God. Uh, St. Benedict recommends that monks spend two to three hours a day, as far as we can gather from the different references, on what we call Lectio Divina, pondering scripture. And the details of Lectio Divina are not in the rule of St. Benedict. It was just accepted that this was the primary way that the monks engaged in individual prayer. Individual prayer is not specifically regulated, but monks are called upon to to spend a few hours every day on Lectio Divina, which is a bit much these days for active monks. Uh, Lectio Divina is a way to let the mysteries of God, mysteries of Christ, to come into our life. Uh, later on, uh, it was dis it was um, theorized that Lectio is basically a four-stage process. Uh, Lectio, Meditatio, Oratio, and Contemplatio, the second of which is meditation, chewing over the Word of God, letting the Word um, penetrate our beings, uh, realizing how we respond to the Word of God and what it means specifically for us in our daily life. So meditation is very important because it's the way we welcome God to speak to us and to enter into our lives and perhaps change some of the ways that we think, speak, and act. And we can also do Lectio on life. I, mean, I think God speaks to us through situations. And if, you know, if you read the book, you see, I think I learn a lot just from what happens every day. And it's amazing what, what God has to tell us if we, if we listen just to the interactions with others. And